the study on microalgae here in the Philippines is uh, rather new. No? This came out from our study, which I was involved with the Commission on uh, the Congressional Commission on Science and Technology and Engineering, COMSTE. It's a joint committee of the Senate and the Congress. I was uh, one of the members of the Energy and Environment Panel, and one of the major results of our study was that we need to look at the emerging uh, areas in energy development. And uh, we found out that there is so much promise no, in the use of algae as a source of energy. So algae, which is currently being also studied elsewhere, no, in the U.S., in fact, there are already commercially uh, available material on algae that are already, I would say, technically feasible. But in the Philippines, we have to explore uh, this particular material, primarily because this uh, actually helps a lot in terms of you know, addressing the greenhouse gas problem or the global warming problem. The uh, issue about uh, energy security in the Philippines is about really bringing down some energy costs, at the same time providing uh, energy options. And uh, therefore, it's important that we di diversify our sources of energy. Uh, by actually developing uh, algae as alternative uh, uh, feedstock no, to produce energy and even to, to produce other products as a, as a result of the, the development of the material, we can actually diversify you know, the energy sources and hopefully uh, bring down some costs of energy and therefore uh, our security issue uh, could be addressed.